Hey guys, Recruitman here with another video in my repair series. I just got a package in. It has a 3600 and a 3700X with quite a few bent pins. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix bent pins. They're really not hard and honestly, unlike soldering, I feel like anybody can do this. All you need is an X-Acto knife and a screwdriver. So let me show you how I did it. Alright, so I know you guys hate this format but i honestly had no choice in order to properly show you how to unbend the pins as you can see this 3700x has a lot of bent pins especially in that one area it looks like the guy just kind of ripped ripped them off uh there's three areas of quite severe bending uh so basically when you've got a lot of uh, bends like that it's best to try to do them all at the same time so i use a screwdriver for the ends as you can see right there, you gotta do, you kinda gotta do one corner at a time. You straighten one part out, you rotate, straighten another one out. So as you can see, I'm doing everything I can with the screwdriver because it's a little stronger. And then you, I tried to fit it in the second area and it wasn't gonna fit. And I realized that it was too thick. So then you go to the X-Acto knife. And the X-Acto knife is a little harder, but you can get it into those hard to reach places. So you kind of just bend them flat. Like these pins can give a lot before they break. And I know because I've bent them to the point where they've broken before. So as long as you're gentle and you don't force them, they're not too bad. So as you can see, I'm, I'm just trying to bend them all back at the same time. And then I examine them to look at the, you know, to look at if they're flush. And I get them as close as I can. You're not going to be perfect. All you have to do is get them flush enough where you can with a little bit of force put them into the cp or put them into the socket so i don't know if you can see but it's starting to get a little more flush and i'm gonna go into the i'm doing the edge first and then i go into the second row and then the third row so uh as you can see the exacto knife is the best way to do that uh i don't want to speed this video up by the way because i kind of want you to watch what i'm doing so there might be some spaces where there could be some dead air that I'm trying to fill like right now but yeah you really just it's really just trial and error you've got to use again you use the combination of the screw and the exacto knife and then you've really got to use the check the angles and to make sure that they're because they're straight in one area they could be bent in another and I like to use the screwdriver to kind of do the fine well to do the, the basic areas and then use the knife for the fine areas so as you can see, I'm just checking to, to check the bends. I feel pretty good about most of that. There's some, there's still some in the middle that have to get fixed. So I'm just planning out my, my you know, the plan in my head. All right, you want to make sure you use the right side of the Zacto knife too, by the way. And the Zacto knife is great because you can get into the middle where it's really, really hard to get those pins. And there's not a lot of gap, especially when the pins are touching each other because they're bent. And you just kind of force them, you gently force them in. And as you can see, I think I mostly got it. There might be one or two that might be out of the frame. I basically kind of had to set up a rig to film this because I, you know, I there's no way I could have shown you this any other way. All right, so we see that one side is fixed. And you can't really see what I'm doing. I'm kind of just examining it at this point, using the knife to clear up any edges. Now there's still there's still more bent pins on the sides and they're not all straight. So like now I'm going to go to a different angle and I'm going to see how you know see if there's any errors. As you can see you just kind of clean them up. You do it. You know, you got to be gentle. You don't want to go too hard because if you go too hard and you pop a pad, you pop a pin off, that's it. Bending a pin is way, way easier than soldering one on. I know I do both. Oh, so now I'm going to the second area. Uh, again, I'm going to use the X-Acto knife this time just because it seems a little bit easier than the screwdriver. But it's good to have both tools because, you know, you might feel comfortable, more comfortable with one in one place. And I like the screwdriver a lot for the edges. I think I can get a better bend back than with the X-Acto knife. So yeah, it looks like I've got this one repaired. Uh, let's go on to the other one. So this one is a lot simpler. Um, this is what you'll probably see in most bent CPUs that you try to repair. 
you'll just see a few on the corners that are bent. So the first thing you want to do is just look look at the corners, try to identify the bent one. You can see it there. Uh, the screwdriver is the best for the outsides when it's just a minor bend because you can honestly just like you just stick the screwdriver in and you just tap it gently and it basically just fixes it and it fixes it on most of the corners too. But you might want to just go and check the other corners just to be safe. Again, this is super simple. This is what you'll you'll see in the majority of them: one or two bent on the corners. But you want to be super careful on the corners because if you pop it or you do it too hard, you will pop the pin. So I think both of these are go are done. Now that we're testing, let's see if these work. Now remember, when you repair or fix bent pins, you don't want to force it in. It should just gently go in. You want to make sure the orientation is right too. Don't want to force it in. Sometimes you might have to push down a little bit, but if it doesn't go, then something's wrong. So you might have to force it in a tiny bit, like you don't want to go crazy, but you just push it a little bit and I got it in. Let's see if it works. And we got it working. All right, and here's me testing out the 3600X. It works. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe for more repair videos. Crew man out.